Once upon a time, there was a magic country. Thousands of African slaves were brought to Guyana, followed by waves of indentured laborers from China, Portugal, the Middle East, and most of all, from India. Despite having different occupations, the Creole laborer and East Indian estate worker both suffered from poor wages. Little access to land, racial prejudice, a cruel magistracy, and repressive militia. However, divide and rule policies prevented the different ethnic groups from realizing these shared hardships. The right to vote was gradually extended to all the population. This enabled the different races to unite in 1953 to win elections. Almost immediately, the colonial power prevented them from ruling, which led to tensions and the eventual division of the united movement along racial lines into the PPP with strong support from the East Indian rural communities and the Afro-urban based PNC. Manipulation of ethnic fears led to years of economic sabotage, racial violence and killings. Burning of houses and migration, particularly of Portuguese and Chinese. Political independence brought hope of a new era of cooperation among people in a new society, reflecting our motto, one people, one nation, one destiny, and slogans such as feed, clothe, and house the nation. Regrettably, these ideals were taken to extremes, which included militarizing the society, prohibiting importation of foodstuffs, widespread controls of all aspects of life which aggravated ethnic divisions and were sustained by fraudulent elections. In the early 1990s, civic effort produced free and fair elections, economic growth, hope of remigration, investment, expansion of television, communications, better education, and housing. Within a few years, the failure to get rid of the repressive constitution forced on the people in the 1980s led to disillusion. The benefits of the new economy were not shared equally by different ethnic groups. The intertwining of politics and illegal commerce produced a drug culture and widespread corruption. This in turn fueled violence and massacres. Guyanese of all ethnic groups, except a wealthy elite, were left fearful and disheartened. Guyana is at a crossroads. We can continue down the path of division, migration, high suicide rates and low levels of living, or we can pull together to create a more inclusive future. This means... I think that we should hopefully try to be optimistic and I think that optimism must come from people taking action and doing something about, you know, bringing about change. I think people are concerned about their own livelihoods. Human beings are always concerned about their own livelihoods and how they see the rest of Guyana. It just depends on what, you know, will they be able to survive here. I would like to see a, um, a government that will be a government for all the people despite who voted for you. Political system or structure that is, I suppose, takes into, to, it takes into consideration really uniting Guyanese rather than dividing um, and really having that as a mandate for going forward. I would like to see our country as our motto, one people, one nation, one destiny, and I'm not seeing that. I think, I think the immediate future is very dark, but I think the distant future 
um, particularly because of the young people is very bright. But I think there's a lot that we have to get past before we get to that bright future. But I have a lot of faith in the youth. Who wins the next elections is less important than all political parties pledging to bring an end to manipulating ethnic groups for political ends. We cannot move forward until we set aside the past and create a modern society in which all citizens feel secure to live and build their future.